cross necklace in recognition for memorizing 20 Bible verses. As you see, this cross necklace represents the Sierra Cross in our prayer garden. The prayer garden is almost 100 years old, nearly as old as the Midway Baptist Church. Thanks for all your hard work, Ava. of mystery, the moment everything changed, the point in history, the miracle of grace, the cross the mystery, the moment everything changed, the point in history, the miracle of grace, back, oh we gotta get back. Didn't you want to have a snack? Some stale cookies? Yeah, that sounds amazing. Morgan, you don't mean that. No offense, Ava. I know you invited me to this BBS thing. BBS, silly. It stands for Vacation Bible School. Whatever, but it's not my jam. You know I don't like the outdoors. You might as well have locked me up in summer school than putting me in this C.W. Worthington Park. He's probably hitting a camera somewhere laughing at my misery. You win, C.W., you win! But look how pretty it is. I think it's great that the garden was built so the community could gather together to pray. Hey, group. Having a good time? Yep, it's totally peachy keen. It's not Morgan's jam. Well, folks, it's been real. I'm out of here. Wait! You must stay for the final Bible challenge! than just a Bible challenge, a quest of champions. You can't leave, we need you. Wow, so motivating, Norman. It just all seems a bit boring. There's nothing you could do to make me stay. Wait, follow me. What if I show you something very few people have seen? The church tool shed? Fascinating. Hey, if the great Norman has a plan, the great Norman has a plan. Promise not to tell anyone it's still here. I present the 8 Joe 2000 Temporal Displacement Modulator. Um, a pile of garbage? I'm impressed. This pile of garbage has traveled through time. Tra tell him, Ava. Well, I wasn't there, but my brother told me great stories about the adventures he's had in this contraption. This machine was created by Henry Olsen, a shrewd janitor, when he was just a kid. He brought it here to store. And your pastor let him do that? Sounds logical. Pastor encourages everyone here to use all their gifts in the church. Anyway, Henry let me tinker with it, and I'd actually use it to travel through time. What? Amazing! What are we waiting for? Well, the last time I was here, I completely used up its power source, a rare iridium isotope. And even with power, the machine never worked accurately. It never took me to the correct time. Convenient. It just happens to be out of power. Okay, you've seen it, but now let's move on to the real excitement. The final Bible challenge! More than just a Bible challenge, a quest of champions. Come on. On our way. Come on, Morgan. Morgan? There's no way this pile of junk could ever... Whoa, what was that? Norman, Finn, come quick! Impossible! What's going on? Your real pile of scrap turned itself on. This can't be, but I know that sound... How is this possible? It's happening! Hold on, everyone! Don't forget to tie your shoe in a minute. That was seriously weird. That was seriously fun! And she was like, no way! And I was like, dude! You did not just say that, and I was like, I'm, <laughs> I'm so sure. Dude, that's gnarly. Classic. Classic 1980s vernacular. I, I 
can't believe it. The machine works, Norman. We've traveled to the ancient times of the 1980s. <laughs> this just can't be happening. There's no iridium left in the power supply. How can the machine have powered up? I don't know, but this place here says 1985. Let's go explore. We better not. The machine is too unreliable. Plus, I need to get you all back safely. Let me program it back to the present. Girls, get in the machine and hold on, everyone. Something's supposed to happen. Do you girls like when I join like a VBS group? It's like totally rad. Yeah, like it's so righteous, dude. Uh, sure, sure. I guess. Why isn't this thing working now? Makes no sense. At VBS this week, we've been learning that like one of the great missions of faith isn't just like our lives as a Christian, isn't just like totally imitating Christ, but like the indwelling of Christ. And that's the big time. That means that Christ actually like lives in us. Galatians 2.20 says, I have been crucified with Christ and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me.
allergic to cats. Not real cats, Morgan. This dab you do in an expression. It means really great. Not only are we putting up the food drive for the needy today, but my parents are also putting up the scratch for construction on, on the park and prayer garden here. Right, Want to join in? I sure would. I love the entrance across to be the center of the space. Yes, sir. We at right side for every believer. In Matthew 16, 24, Jesus said, If anybody must follow me, he must deny himself and take up his cross follow me. For anybody who loses... Who wants to save his life will lose it, but anybody who loses his life for me will find it. If anyone would come after me, he must deny. Deny himself, take up his cross and follow. Turn on. 
this makes sense, just ignoring problems won't make them disappear. Actually, Morgan, the Bible says when we focus our eyes on Jesus and what he did on the cross, the things we worry about in this world won't matter. Jesus conquered sin and death, and we are victorious in him. The cross changed everything, Morgan. I'm praying you really come to know what he has done for you. Um, thanks. I was just curious. Everyone seems really serious about the cross. Sorry to interrupt. You all really should commence to 1923 and fix the altered timeline that created this wrong you. In line man terms, whatever we did made a big ripple and did it from burden of the past and the future move by sin. But the question is, what did we do? Well, I talked to that CW guy in the 20s. We had a chat. Strange dude. CW, as in CW Worthington? He's the one who built the church and raised funds for the prayer garden and the cross in the park. What did you say to him, Morgan? Well, I told him he should stop giving away all his money and save it for himself. So in this version of the future, this area has never had a prayer garden or a church. This is a disaster. This could change hundreds of thousands of lives. We need to go back and face what happened. Come on, machine. 1923. Let's go, Ava. Big surprise, this is not 1923. This looks like the wild, this looks like the wild, wild west. They are definitely rooting into here. Y'all, come on over, they will get around. I'd like to start our festivities by welcoming you to the Jewelweek Festival of 1870. We're all so thankful to Mr. Daniel Wharton for allowing us to celebrate on his new land. Thanks be to God. We are truly grateful for this opportunity to help you find folks. And Mr. Daniel Warrington will lead us in prayer for the dessert we are about to receive. Everybody bow their heads, please. Heavenly Father, we thank thee for that provision and for that. We thank thee for our new friends and ask to bless on our new land. In the name of Jesus, and Thank you, Daniel. Now as we begin to end our, our pies, our children are coming to present some very special songs they, they have prepared for us to remind us of God's great gifts to us.
These people have so little, but they seem so happy. Is it because of the cross? Yes. It all has to do with Jesus. Rose, thank you for having us at this lovely event. We, we have an urgent matter to attend in the past. I mean, in the future. Well, have some of my good prayer very power before you go, won't you? Happy trails. Sounds great. Norman, please explain why do you think I turn on a machine? We think it's your necklace. It powers the machine. I just need to make some adjustments so it goes where we want it to go. <clears throat> Oh, she will, will she? What if I don't want to talk to C.W.? He can make his own choices. In fact, maybe it should be my turn to wear the necklace for... Come on, let me wear it for a minute. Be serious, Morgan. You don't have time for this.
think we need to go back to 1923. There's someone I need to talk to. Yes, let's go back and fix the timeline. Let's go. CW, wait, remember me? Of course I remember you. We spoke just a moment ago. Um, right. Where's the cross? I appreciate your honesty so much, and you kept me from making a big mistake. I took down the cross and decided there were better ways to spin my scratch than for this. No, it was me who made the mistake. You were right to give to others. The cro this program will touch thousands of lives. In fact, God gave his own son as a sacrifice to save us. The cross in this prayer garden will help will help remind us of that gift and that we can know the living Christ. Plus, you're going to help start church here in just a few years. Church? Hmm. Well, that's a swell idea. But first, let's start with this cross. That's where we should always start. Ta-da. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Better get back, everyone. Bye, CW. May God bless you, and he'll be with you every step of your life. This was, like, so righteous, dudes. Everybody, hop in. First, we'll take Whitney home. I'm glad you got stuck with us, Whitney. This was, like, the most excellent adventure I've ever had. Let's party on, dudes! Thank you to the Midway Baptist Church for letting us sponsor our VBS here at this beautiful CW Worthington Park. Let's begin with our Bible contest to end our day. The Bible Challenge! Yes! More than just a Bible Challenge, a quest of champions! to fall, babies cry when they are small, I know God is good. 
Hey guys, uh, let's give these kids one more round of applause. What an outstanding job you guys did. Um, right now, we do this every year, and every year it, it, it is from the bottom of our hearts. Come on up here, Margie. Um, let's give this lady a big round of applause. Uh, for you, those of you that don't know, uh, what she does is absolutely tremendous, absolutely spectacular in the investment she gives to these children in their lives and, and their spiritual walk and their, their music is just phenomenal. So thank you, Margie. And for all the other helpers, we thank you. Let's give them a round of applause tonight. Let's give uh, John Davis a round of applause tonight for his acting debut. And, oh, Cole. Cole, where is he? Cole Spurlock, he built this incredible time machine for us. So, we've got uh, David Barber, Margie's husband's running sound back there, phenomenal job today. Yeah. And one more time for these kids, let's give them a round of applause.